How's it going guys? So today I thought I'd come up with five ideas regarding whimsical gobblegums. Now they have no effect on gameplay, they're more just cosmetic fun little effects that are kind of like those old cheats you could activate in old games like GoldenEye and even in World of War they had death cards and, and it had a variety of effects and so some of these might seem a bit familiar but I think they'd really suit and fit in with zombies. So my first one has pretty much been in every single game ever. It's called Abstract Artist and it's pretty much just is a paintball effect. So all your bullets become paintballs. You can see the paintballs when you shoot the surrounding, like the bullet holes that go into the walls and that, that becomes a paintball. You can see it on a zombie's body. And I think it's just a really cool thing that should be in like every game ever because it's just a little fun thing. Next one is Explosive Force, and pretty much when you kill a zombie with a grenade, they'll become like a rag doll, but they'll get flung really, really far. So just imagine how the zombies get flung by the Thunder Gun or the One Inch Punch in Origins, just how far they go, especially with the Thunder Gun though. But just imagine that happens when you kill them with a grenade. And if you did it with a monkey bomb, well, I think that'd be pretty cool to see. Next one is another popular one, it's called Look At Me, and it's pretty much just a big head mode. Now it doesn't affect the zombies at all, because if I made the zombies heads big, well, you'd be confused on where to aim, or you'd change the hitboxes, and it wouldn't really be a whimsical gun then. But it changes the player models, so the characters, so it'd be more effective in co-op. But you could also see it in solo as well, because I reckon it should work during cutscenes as well. So like, just imagine the Durazendrak cutscene, you did the boss in solo and that, and just the whole time they've got these giant heads that don't like that go out of the screen. You can either see their mouths or something like that, it'd just be hilarious. Now the next one is called Un Undead, and it pretty much gives the zombies a human look. Now this one is pretty much a reverse of a World at War death card. So death cards are pretty much what Whimsical uh, Gobblegums are, but this death card, I believe this one was called the Ace of Spades, which is <laughs> weird because it just seems like that's being brought up all of a sudden in zombies, pretty much it gave them an undead look in World at War. So yeah, this one would pretty much just replace all the zombies with like human model NPCs, probably from the campaign or you know just generic models pretty much and I think it'd be really cool like just to see them you know fully skinned and glowing eyes in their clothes and all that it'd give it a nice little twist and my last one which is called slicing surprise so pretty much when you melee kill a zombie they'll explode they won't do like air of effect damage they won't do explosive damage or whatever they'll just explode on themselves and like confetti will come out when they explode so it's like a piñata pretty much or like it's another popular or semi-popular uh, kind of a effect thing that they put into games like when you kill something and it explodes in confetti so I think that'd be like a nice touch add a bit of color along with that paintball one to some maps but yeah guys I really do like whimsical gums they have no effect on gameplay purely cosmetic they can be really fun and just awesome to mess about with so I don't think they will but I would love Treyarch if like say every couple of months half a year or whatever they added a new whimsical gobble gum you know just to freshen up the game it's not too much work it just adds a little bit of fun and mayhem into the game and they don't have to worry about balancing shit like because it doesn't affect gameplay at all but yeah what did you guys think of those five gobble gums do you have any whimsical gobble gum ideas you want to see in game let me know and i'll catch you all later cheers